Hello, this is the first of a quite a few videos focusing on computer hardware, starting now by categorizing hardware as being either input, output, or communications devices. So before we get started on that, those categories, let's just define what hardware is. So hardware are the physical parts of the computer system. So if you can touch it, it's physical, and it's part of a computer, it must be hardware. So for example, the actual phone itself, what the phone is made of, is the phone's hardware. The phone is a computer, and so therefore the physical parts are the hardware. The computer itself, the computer system, to use a more formal phrase, is made up of both hardware and software. Okay, so the computer as a physical thing is hardware, but the actual system has both hardware and software. So software, we'll talk more in future videos, but software are the instructions running on the hardware. You need to have hardware to run software. So the software, things like the apps, the hardware, things like the CPU, motherboard, touchscreen, camera, etc. Um, the programs running on the app, in this example, are the software. We can't physically touch them. And hardware devices can be categorized in loads of ways, and we'll cover some in future videos. But for now, let's try and put some devices into the categories input, output, and communication devices. So starting off with input devices. So input devices are hardware which provide data to a computer. So we've got a computer, computer tower. Something like a keyboard is a great example of an input device because you're typing on the keyboard. What you're typing in is sent either via a wire or perhaps over Bluetooth to the computer. Same idea with a mouse. You move a mouse around it communicates to the computer where you want the cursor to be on the screen. Other examples are things like barcode readers, it might be used in supermarkets and stock rooms to read codes and communicate it to the computer. Something like a scanner, which puts a document under the scanner lid and copies it as a file to the computer. Often scanners are part of a printer, but the scanner itself is the input device part of it. A webcam is another good example as is a graphics tablet. So all of these, when they are used, primarily send data to the computer. Now, this is a bit simplistic. You might be thinking, well, actually, data is coming out of the computer too. So for instance, this keyboard is quite a fancy one with different lights behind the keys. You might be able to, on the computer, control the lights on the keyboard, which would mean some data has to get sent from the computer to the keyboard but primarily their main role is to provide this data to the computer. Okay, so for example, the graphics tablet, you've got a pen, you can draw on the tablet, and the tablet will send either through a wire or wirelessly, it will send the data telling the computer where the cursor should go and what pressure to draw, for example. For an exam situation, make sure you can go in knowing a few examples of input devices like the ones on the screen, there are more, so a microphone, for example, is another input device. Also, you might be given a scenario and have to think in your feet a little bit and evaluate these devices, but that will really depend on the scenario, so it's very difficult to predict ahead of time. To give now output devices, I won't animate it because I've only got four examples on the slide. So output devices receive data from a computer. So the data is primarily coming from the computer and going to the hardware device. So for example, a monitor on the left, a monitor, a screen, is showing a depiction of what is going on in the computer. You can see an interface created by the software. That needs to come from the computer and so it's an output device. Likewise speakers, the sound is coming from, usually through a wire from the computer to the speakers which are producing the sound. Projector, printer, other good examples, that printer looks like it's got a scanner as well, so just the printing part is the output in that situation. The final category are communications devices. So these were covered in their own video in much more detail. But examples of these are things like hubs, switches, modems, routers, wireless access points, things which enable you to send and or receive data between computers. So generally, input and output devices are working on one computer system, but communications devices work across two or more devices. So really they enable you to work over networks. But we'll talk about these in more detail in a future video.